Let's do the electric field problem, the sample that we just did before, uh, this time in the vector view. So let's look at the problem again. And this time I'm going to have to define a reference point and then base everything upon that reference point. So my reference point I'm going to make here at charge 2. This is going to be my origin. 0 comma 0. And everything will be in rela relationship to this 0 comma 0 origin point. So R2 is going to equal 0 comma 0 centimeters. R1 is going to equal 52 comma 0 centimeters. RA is going to be 0 comma 30 centimeters and RB is going to equal 26 comma 30 centimeters. And we're going to solve this in the same way that we solved for our forces. We need to get our vectors. And in this case, I'm going to basically just do for charge A, or I mean for point A. So I need, uh, well, let's put the formula down. So for uh, point A, it's going to be the electric field at A due to 1 plus the electric field at A due to 2. And that's just going to be KC times Q1 over R, and we're going to have 1A. squared times r hat 1a plus kc q2 over r2a squared times my unit vector to A. I can bring the K's outside, so I'm going to have 9 times 10 to the 9th Newton meter squared per Coulomb squared. Q1 is minus 50 times 10 to the negative 6 Coulombs. And my distance is going to be, well, I'm going to have RA minus R1. So A is 0, comma, 0 0.3 meters. Now, actually, let's do this separately. Get a little too complicated here. Let's just do it separately. So I have R one A is equal to R A minus R one. That's equal to R A is 0 comma 0 0.3 meters minus R1 so it's 0 0.52 comma 0 meters so 
that's going to be minus 0 0.52. comma 0 0.3 meters and r 2a be r a minus r 2 0 comma 0 0.3 meters minus R2 is 0 comma 0 and that just leaves me with 0 comma 0 0.3 meters. Our distance is negative 0 0.52 meters squared plus 0 0.3 meters squared and that's equal to now well, time to get a calculator root. And that's going to give me oh, 0 0.6 yeah, 0 meters. And our 2a well this is going to be easy because one is 0 and the other one is just going to be squared in the square root so that's going to be 0 0.3 meters. And now I can put everything back into this formula for the electric field. Now I need to do 0 0.60 meters squared plus 50 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs times 0 0.3 meters squared. Oh, and I forgot my forgot my vectors. I got to do the unit vector. So this is going to be negative zero point five two comma zero point three meters over and the distance for this one is 0 0.60 meters now 
now I can work on the other one. Zero point zero or zero point three meters. So this these are just unit vectors. And the final result gives me a vector of 1.081 times 10 to the 6th, comma, 4.372 times 10 to the 6th newtons per coulomb. And you'll notice that this is my EAX and my EAY that we had from the previous example. So everything works out, either way you do it, component or vector view.